Hey, baseball fans, welcome back to Touch Em All Sports Knots Weekly MLB Digest. I'm Scott Cobranson, your guide to the wild world of baseball, where the stories are hot, the players are hotter, and the commentary, well, it's me. So buckle up. First up, the San Diego Padres are on fire. I'm talking need an extinguisher hot. And leading the charge is none other than Jackson Merrill, our rookie sensation. This kid is making walk-off homers look as easy as hitting off a tee in Little League. Wednesday night, Merrill smashed his second homer of the game in the ninth inning against the Pirates, tying things up and paving the way for a wild 98 victory in extra innings for the Padres. That's his third game tying or walk-off homer this season at just 21 years old. Move over Tony Horton and Giancarlo Stanton. Merrill's in the house. With a swing that sent the ball 442 feet, Merrill didn't just dot the I in Pirates, he dotted the I in I'm here to stay. Padres manager Mike Silk said it best, he's got that it factor and you better believe it. Meanwhile, up in Baltimore, the Orioles are proving they've got some serious swagger. Anthony Santander and the young phenom Jackson Holiday teamed up to turn the tables on the Blue Jays. Holiday, at just 20 years old, became the youngest player in AL history to homer in three straight games. Talk about making history. Holiday's two-run blast in the seventh inning not only flipped the score, but also flipped the mood for Orioles fans. And let's not forget Santander. Two homers in one game and a career high of his 34th this season. He's practically carrying this team on his back, but it's not all about the homers. Santander's clutch catch in the seventh kept the O's in the lead. Manager Brandon Hyde might have gotten ejected, but this team injected, I should say, with energy. Over in the Bronx, Aaron Judge is on a mission with 41 homers and 47 games left. He's gunning for 60. That's right, folks, 60. He's already on pace to tie his own AL record of 62. And if he can avoid those pesky intentional walks, he might just make history again. Even with the pitchers dodging him like he's got the plague, Judge is seeing more pitches in the zone thanks to some heavy hitters behind him. And with a lineup getting stronger by the day, who knows? We might just see more Judgment Day before the season's over. Lastly this week, no surprise here, but it's adios to Pedro Grafal in Chicago. The White Sox have had a season to forget, and Grafal's tenure is officially over. With an 89-190 and record over two seasons, it's no surprise they're looking for a fresh start. Here's hoping they find the right person to turn this ship around. The Sox faithful on the south side deserve a team they can be proud of. That's all for this week's Touch Em All. Make sure to check out all of our baseball coverage on sportsnot.com. And don't forget, please subscribe to our YouTube page, and I will see you back here next week. And don't forget, keep swinging for those fences.